story. Today, President Obama held talks with Ethiopia's leaders on counterterrorism, human rights, and regional security. He's the first sitting American president to visit the East African nation. Obama wrapped up a two-day trip to Kenya Sunday, urging the homeland of his father to root out corruption, treat women and minorities as equals, and to protect the rights of homosexuals. I've been consistent all across Africa on this. Uh, I believe in the principle of treating people equally under the law and that they are deserving of equal protection under the law and that the state should not discriminate against people based on their sexual orientation. But in a tense exchange, Kenya's president rejected Obama's message on gay rights, saying it was one value that Christian Kenya does not share with the United States. The fact of the matter is that Kenya and the United States, we share so many values. But there are some things that we must admit we don't share. Our culture, our societies don't accept. This is why I repeatedly say that for Kenyans today, the issue of gay rights is really a non-issue. In Kenya, homosexual relations carries a punishment of imprisonment. In this overwhelmingly Christian nation, many residents shrugged off the U.S. president's lecture on gay rights. Of course, the way President Obama talked about gayism and what have you, lesbianism or transgender, whatever, according to him, you know, we took him as an American. He was answering like an American. He was for, but according to our African culture, the Christian beliefs, we say no. Dale Hurd, CBN News.